Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the signatures feature in Preview. So if you ever had to do this, get a document by email. You have to print it out, sign it, scan it back in, and email it back. Well, you don't need to do that. You can use Preview to actually place a signature on a document without ever having to print it out. So what you need to do is go in Preview to Preferences and go from General to Signatures here and click on Create Signature. And This brings up the special window. And then you can see through your iSight camera, whatever camera you have hooked up to your Mac, and have it pointed at a piece of paper, a white piece of paper with your signature on it. Sign it in nice dark black ink. And Then notice how the Signature Preview on the right really does a good job of isolating the signature from the surrounding area. And then when you get a good look at it, you hit Accept. And then you'll see your signature recorded there. So here we are in preview with a document open. And we're going to want to put our signature here at the bottom of this letter. So the way we do that is we go into View and we turn on the annotations bar. And in the annotations bar, we've got a signature menu here. And we can create a new signature and manage our existing signatures as well. Uh, or we can choose the signature that we just created. Now we have crosshairs. We select the position for the signature and click and it places it in there. We can adjust it then. Uh, we can scale it. Um, if you've got a type of PDF document that actually has a space for signature, it will automatically scale it to fit that size. So now that we've got that signature in there, uh, we can save that document and it will have that signature inside the PDF. If you go into Manage Signatures, you can see the signature there and the time it was saved. Um, you can select it and remove it. You can add a new one. So say you're in your spouse's signature or if you have to put initials um, or actually if there's any kind of graphic that you want to sometimes insert like say a watermark or a stamp of some sort, uh, you can use this functionality to add it to a PDF using Preview. So using the signature functionality in Preview can save you a lot of time and paper if you send documents back and forth digitally. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.